I'm here to talk about overlanding, from how-tos, advice, gear, vehicle builds, and everything in between. Oh hey there, welcome to another installment of Oh Hey There. Today we're going to talk about how to get involved in the overland community. We get quite a few questions here at Expedition Overland of, hey, how do I find a place to travel? Um, how do I find a group to travel with? How do I map out an area? All this stuff, or just how do I find other overlanders to talk to? Yeah. So Kurt Williams here, you know him from our show. Uh, he does a lot of that stuff in his home of Salt Lake City, um, really throughout the West U.S. and then plans stuff down into Baja, all that sort of thing. And he's also been involved in the uh, overlanding community for quite a while now. So let's talk about it. How does someone get involved into an overlanding group in their area? Yeah, great question. And we do hear it a lot. So I think it's a, a fun subject to talk about. And it's a lot easier than you may think. Yeah. Uh, some of the real easy ways, and first and foremost, is you got to put yourself out there. Be willing to meet new people and get out and see some trails with some different folks. So one of the easiest ways to start learning about this stuff is forums. Sure, yeah. And one of the forums that I know a lot of us have spent time on would be the Expedition Portal Forum. Kind of was uh, a front runner in the community and been around for well over a decade now. Yeah, it has. It's really well organized too. I like it that is. about it. It's easy to find stuff on. So there, there are regional information there, but it's, it's good vehicle stuff. It's kind of, it's not going to be the best for any one region, but it's probably the single best resource for everything, be it vehicles, people, planning, borders, mm -hmm. uh, all of the above in one location. So a great resource. Sure, sure. But what if someone's like looking for something like in their area, in their town or within, you know, a, a tri-county area? Or something yeah, no, like great that. question. And by all means, don't use just one place as your only source of info. Exhibition Portal is fantastic, but look at other places like your local clubs. Mm -hmm. So there's probably few places in the U.S. right now that don't have a overlanding club or an expedition club or a 4x4 club within a couple hours of your home. Sure. So so lean on those guys, network with them, and join every club you can, really. And there's guys, groups out all the time. Right. There's stuff to do. There's the, the 410 guys up, up in, in, in uh, Canada. Yeah. That we drove by them as they were doing their thing, and, and then we got to connect later. And, you know, it's just these cool connections that are going to happen, and kind of this web all over the... North, all over the world. Really. All over, yeah. The Lone Star Overland guys down in Texas that came to our premier party. Yeah. And they've got a really active community down there doing some really neat trips. There's clubs in Alabama, the East Coast, Colorado, Expedition Utah in Utah, which is one that I'm uh, involved with. Uh, California's got quite a few. There's the Overland Bound community that yeah. has quite active in California, but also active throughout their, their different regions in the U.S. And then the expos, which is where you can come see us too, the, yep. the Overland Expo East and West events. Yep. Yeah, we'll be there this year. We'll be at uh, Northwest Overland Rally as well. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, and a couple other ones. You know, like the first thing we ever did was a rally in Hollister years and years ago. That was like the first time we got in community. One, huh? And we, we met people there that we still associate with, with today. And um, I don't know, it's, it's just a great community to get involved with. And then of course, there's all the training that happens at those places. So if you're new into overlanding, these are great things, great events to go to because you can get all the training you want. And, and it just helps you answer these questions that are all the what ifs when you're starting out. No, that's a great point. And, and for example, some of the classes at the Overland Expo events, are they have a panel which is a, an open round table so you can go ask questions about planning a trip just for Mexico and Central America right. or they have a separate one for South America they have one for the Western US they have one for Canada yeah so you get to go sit in an audience and there's a, a handful of guys that are uh, guys and gals that are intimately familiar with a certain area and yep. ask them questions about a trip perhaps you're planning and and don't be one bit surprised if, if those uh, ladies and gentlemen will pull you aside afterwards and say hey here's all the things to check out here's some hot spots and, and yeah. maybe here's some websites that you can resource with and really uh, help you hone in and plan a great trip. There's also a bunch of stuff out there for vehicle specific things. Right. So, yeah. right, we're all traveling by vehicle. Uh, obviously, we're Toyota guys here, but there's Jeep, there's Rovers, there's mm -hmm. Nissan, all sorts of groups out there. I Hate Mud is a huge one um, that covers well, mostly Toyotas, but Most, some others. Yeah, a little bit of everything. The I Hate Mud is a fantastic resource. There's uh, the JK forums for the Jeep guys. There's Pirate 4x4 that gets into a little more extreme vehicles, but also covers a little bit of everything. There's probably a vehicle specific forum for just about every yeah. 4x4 out there. So don't be afraid to dive in and just see what unfolds and what happens for you. 
Yeah, I think you're spot on. And, and if, if you can't find a group that wants to go do something, plan a trip anyway and invite people. And you'll find that mm -hmm. there's there's probably some others that are maybe a little timid, a little reluctant to plan a big trip themselves because they're not quite there yet or they don't have that local knowledge. So if you've got some, share it with others and plan a trip and show it off and, yeah. and uh, get some, help, help other people get involved. Good stuff. We'll, we'll uh, leave a few links below, guys, so you can uh, check out some of this, this information. It'll get you started. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those below and we will answer those as quickly as we can. So please get out there, start overlanding, traveling. Don't be afraid to do it. Uh, this community is large and it's very welcoming and we'd love you to get started with it. There you go. We'll see you next time. Take care.